What's up guys and welcome back. Today we are gonna do something a little bit different and talk about a few current events going on right now. Um, this past year has left most of the population dazed and confused as to what's going on and there's two major events that happened this past few weeks um, that are very important to understand. Number one is the Fed. The Federal Reserve was created years back um, and kind of has two purposes. Number one is price stability and number two is employment to create sustainable employment, meaning that there's a job available for essentially everybody who wants a job. Now, the big reason we care about the Fed, especially in the mortgage industry, is they control how much money is going around the United States economy at a given time. So what they say is very important to us because it directly affects mortgage rates. So most recently, last week, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell announced that they will be tapering off purchases for the next two months and then they'll reevaluate. Um, what this means, number one, for the stock market, it's very positive because it's going to keep the stock market high and it shows a lot of responsibility as to adjust their purchasing and tapering and how much money's put out into the economy to keep those stock prices high. For the mortgage rates, it has a similar effect. So number one, we can depend on stability. The reason we can depend on this is because the Fed is going to continually adjust over the next few months how effective their plan has been. Right now, mortgage rates are at a historic low. I'm gonna be honest, because they're going to taper, we're gonna start seeing those rates come up again. Um, however, we can expect a very stable incline. Number two is all about Zillow. Everybody's talking about Zillow. Zillow has just come to terms with the fact that they are not cut out for the house flipping business. Over the last few years, Zillow's purchased thousands of homes in their home flipping program. And the real estate giant is now realizing that it's not going to be quite as profitable as they would have hoped and are going to be dumping almost 7,000 homes back into the market. The CEO, Rich Barton, um, said we've determined the unpredictability in forecasting home prices far exceeds what we anticipated. As Zillow executes its exit strategy from the home flipping program, uh, we're gonna see a few things happen. Number one is we have a huge shortage of homes. And so even though it'll only put a small dent in the amount of homes that we really need, we are gonna see more homes on the market. Number two is, and I think this is even more important, is a lot of the online real estate companies, giants, and even hedge funds are going to be a lot more cautious on the homes that they're buying and the amount that they're investing into programs like Zillow's home flipping program. What this means for you and me is it's going to settle down a little bit of the bidding wars and you're gonna have more competition from fellow home buyers and less from major companies. Let's summarize. Number one, mortgage rates are on the rise. You're gonna see a steady increase in rates. They're already starting to go up. Uh, we've been expecting it for a long time. Here it is, it's coming. Number two, Zillow is out of the market, okay? The, the market is going to change a lot. Hopefully we're gonna see some correction in the home prices, especially if you're from somewhere like Idaho, um, Dallas, or Phoenix where the inflation rates on the homes are insane, hopefully we get some correction there. As always, if you have questions, concerns, or doubts, please leave me a message. I love the feedback. Thanks.